Apollo 69. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know this is a little bit of a bonus video, but uh, I just came to announce really that uh, the beginning of the chase for better maintenance and more horsepower out of my sport track is now underway. I actually just ordered a uh, SCT X4 Brent Speed Tuner last night. Uh, that'll hopefully be here within the next week or two, including my new tunes. Um, I gotta get the last things finalized to get those underway. Uh, I just went to AutoZone and spent a little too much on parts. But it's going to work out in the end. It's going to make everything a little bit better in the long run. So we're going to get started with the main piece of what I just spent all my money on uh, AutoZone, which are these right here, these NGK Iridium 9 plugs. Uh, these are probably the best things I could get right now for this truck because uh, these spark plugs probably have never been replaced. Uh, we have Duralas wires. I know uh, I originally was planning on getting NGK wires, but I talked to some of the guys at AutoZone and they said that the wire, since the NGK wires weren't performance wires, they don't really make that big of a difference and that I would be wasting my money just getting the looks of the NGK, NGK being a name brand, all that crap. So I was like, I might as well just get the Duralast ones. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty good. These are not the gold ones. The gold ones had pretty poor reviews on AutoZone's website. So this one has the five star review, which is great. Um, also have two of these quart bottles of DOT3 brake fluid for the truck. Uh, the brake fluid is pretty much low. Um, I'm getting actually the parking brake light to flash every time I get on it on a hill, which is not good. So I was like, I might as well get a, get a fluid flush. Uh, we also have a one man bleeder as well to help out with that because uh, I do not feel like uh, bleeding these with two people. It takes a lot longer. Uh, this will work out perfect. Um, the last thing I got today is differential fluid. Uh, my differential is not leaking that per se, but it is saturated and I'm getting a new gasket. So I'm gonna go ahead and just replace that, uh, replace all the fluid with this. Really good Royal Purple um, Max Gear fluid. Uh, we'll be good to go. Um, and then the last thing I gotta get is, is uh, the fuel filter, which I need to figure out which one my truck uses because apparently there are two types, uh, which are a three line and a two line. I don't remember which one is mine. Uh, I'll have to go outside and look. Um, but with that out of the way, uh, that's basically what we got for this project. But for the rest of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get prepared to tune a vehicle. And also, in case you didn't just see, Kaysen's with me today. Uh, had him come by before he went to go do his school stuff. I'm back from school for the day. so Maybe. We're going to go ahead and go outside of the truck, and we're going to walk you through how to get ready to tune a sport track. All right, guys. So to get your sport track ready to be tuned, I know this is a completely new subject no one's probably ever heard of, because like, who tunes a sport track? I mean, really. I mean, even case in mind, the camera here is probably like, probably, <laughs> you see. Anyway, so to get a sport track prep for tuning, it's like many other cars. First, you have to have access to a tuner. Now, I don't have mine here yet. I just ordered it from Brent Speed not too long ago. But um, there's a couple of places that specifically say they tune these trucks. Brent Speed is one of them. And I believe the other is Unleashed Racing, if I remember correctly. Uh, I that, sounds, that sounds very eBay. Eh, I've heard they're really good. I've heard some people say it's even better than Brent Speed. But I went with Brent Speed. Um, they have a pretty good reputation in the Mustang community, and they uh, have a lot of in a lot of reputation in the 4.6 sport tracks. And uh, they offer tunes for this, so I was like, let's jump on it. So uh, first thing you need to do is buy the tuner. And the way I did it, like I said through Brent Speed, you get the uh, custom tunes package, which comes with custom tunes straight at the factory. It comes with three tunes for your, uh, whatever various octanes of gas you want to use. For example, I'm going to do 87, 89, and 93, or 87, 91, and 93. I have to figure out which in the middle grade here. Um, and then uh, the way you do it, they'll send you, as soon as you buy it, if they're open, unlike me who bought the tuner right after they closed, uh, you get a form in the e an email the next day, like I did, um, which was like, you know, give us information on your car, which is what I'm working on today. Uh, so for mine, they ask you, you're here, make a model, what transmission you have. So for mine, 2003 Ford Explorer Sport Track with the automatic. I went ahead and put it was two-wheel drive in there because there are four-wheel drive ones in the world, so I would assume there'd probably be some that are, uh, you know, getting tuned four-wheel drive. I was like, just to be safe, I'm going to say mine's two-wheel drive. Um, the next thing they'll add, they'll ask you, is uh I can't, it's something to do with like the modification list so i went ahead and told them i was like i've got i'm getting ready to install those iridium spark plugs i've got the wires i've got um the Flowmaster super 40 muffler uh, which is a custom axle back in case you didn't know uh you should go check out the project explorer series if you haven't seen that yet um as well as that's really it with the performance stuff so far uh as well the cold air intake as well um 
I went ahead and sent all that. They asked what kind of cold air intake you're running, whether it be stock or aftermarket, and what's the pipe size. So for me, as I fall over here, uh, the pipe work on mine is a 72.6 millimeter pipe work. That's a three inch pipe. So I went ahead and was like, hey, this is a three inch pipe. Um, it is 3.5 going into the math, but uh, uh, I talked to Michael before all this because he was helping me out because he's actually had his cartoon before uh, mine. I was just like, you know, it's a three inch. Uh, so they're hooking me up with that. The next thing uh, they ask for is about traction control. XLS guys like myself don't have it. I don't even know if any other O3s had it. So I was just like, I left that blank. For tire size, you get to customize your tire size as well, which was one thing I was like, heck yes, I want to do because my speedometer is incorrect from having these 20 inch wheels on it. So I went ahead and calculated that all with my 373 gears on the factory and had that all registered and ready to go. Um, that's basically all that stuff with the paperwork. Now, the next thing you want to do is figure out your PCM code. Now, if you're ordering a tuner from Brent Speed and it's your first time getting an X4 or any other SCT tuner for these trucks, you definitely want to get that first. And uh, to get to that, as I... <laughs> and you need to get I was trying truck. to hold back my laugh. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> In case you're wondering why I stumble so much, it's called Asperger's Syndrome. That scared me for a second. I was like, what the heck is that? But, oh, Korea's coming for us. Not again. Uh, we have, uh, I have Asperger's, so that's why I fall. Uh, but the next thing you want to do is find your PCM code. Now, on a Gen 1 sport track like this, it's very simple to find. Pop the hood. Uh, pardon my extremely dirty engine bay. Right the PCM there. is located right there where Kason is pointing, and uh, that'll be your PCM code that you need to take to uh, I hope your you tuner. you can see that. I'm sorry, guys. You might not be able to, but uh, the PCM code is located on that piece. Uh, if you're having a 95 to 01 Explorer, for example, or using the center console out of for the swap, uh, that'll have you have to take out the passenger airbag. But well, luckily for me, I'm good. You know what I just realized? Huh? I think I think that engine cover would have fit. Maybe. It probably it looks like it could have fit. Maybe. Man, I feel bad. Uh, the oh owner's well. group said it didn't. Huh? Uh, the owner's group said it didn't. Because look, 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 remember I was talking about those being close on the thing, whereas on yeah. yours, well, maybe it was backwards. Maybe I thought those were uh, close. Maybe those are too close for the other one, yeah. the, uh, the piece, but either way. But, uh, yeah, so um, just, to wrap, just to make sure you all know, I won't be doing the tuning my sport track vehicle until my get my engine dealt with if you haven't if you're new to the channel uh my time and chains i believe are going bad in my cassettes so i'm going to get that replaced as quickly as i can um and that will be when the tune goes on is right after that's replaced um basically that is it with getting it prepped uh, the one thing that i'd recommend personally is uh do a tune-up that's what i'm getting ready to do that's why i bought all those plugs and wires and all that jazz is to do a complete tune-up on the engine because <laughs> I'm willing to bet money that the previous owner never took care of this vehicle in terms of tune-ups. I mean, these wires look like they came out in 2003. When you say so, Kaysen? The, yeah, they, they, look, would, they look pretty... They pretty look old, old, and I'm highly doubting. I'm pretty much certain that my rough idol... Are you zooming in on my face right now? No, I'm not. Bullcrap. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. You swear. All right, I promise I'm not. Anymore. Anyway, <laughs> um... These spark plugs probably never been replaced. This had a rough idle since I got in the truck, uh, and I believe that it is more than likely a combination of my fuel filter being clogged. We were just underneath the truck in case and saw it, and it was disgusting. Uh, as well as the spark plugs and all that stuff never being replaced and uh, all that. So that's one thing we're going to definitely be doing very soon. Um, last but not least, I would recommend you know checking your maintenance, making sure everything is good on that. I just did an oil change not too long ago, so I'm good there. But I'd recommend you know getting fluids done and all that stuff before you put a tune on because you don't want to have it on a on a pretty banged up engine that's just my preference you know you know it's not required but it's stuff i'd recommend doing just to make sure your tunes are perfect and you don't have any issues with it at first unless it's just a bad tune which in that case is just what happens but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this video go subscribe go subscribe to case and mg productions behind the camera the man the myth the legend and uh, if you're yeah, new to right. this channel be sure to subscribe because there's a lot of content coming over the next week or two especially next friday I'm gonna have you going under for surgery. So these videos are gonna be like the bread and butter stuff while I'm down So thank you guys again. See you guys in the next one